New concerns about the deadly flu, the newest victims, and a reminder tonight about the rapid test that you can get if you or a loved one might have it. Here's ABC's Gio Benitez. Tonight, the flu moving fast, claiming the young and strong. 10-year-old Nico Melozzi from Connecticut gearing up for a travel hockey tournament hundreds of miles from home when his mother took him to a local ER. He tested positive for the flu and was released. But before he made it back home, Nico grew sicker and was rushed to another hospital where he later died from pneumonia and sepsis. Nico was a very lively, vibrant, spirited kid. Nico's story painfully similar to that of Katie Oxley Thomas, a 40-year-old marathon runner runner who died of similar complications. She went to an urgent care center, was released, then went to an ER with worsening flu symptoms. She died 15 hours later. Sometimes things happen and it could be because somebody has an additional condition that we weren't aware of. If you're developing very high fevers, if you're not able to keep down any food or drink, if you become lightheaded, you really should go back to the emergency room. Doctors using rapid tests at urgent care centers like this one, getting results in just five minutes. And David, tonight hospitals are also dealing with IV bag shortages. Many of them are made in hurricane ravaged Puerto Rico. So we're told that it could take weeks or months for this shortage to be resolved. David. Gio, thank you.